Hey Aries, this is your weekly reading for October 10th, 2021. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you're interested in following me on TikTok, I do daily videos over there. Or if you're interested in uh, doing a um, personal reading, all my information is down below in the description box. So I picked a Mazanite for the crystal for the collective this week. It is about hope. It is about not giving up. It is about uh, welcoming new beginnings and just keeping the faith. I feel like a lot of Zodiacs need that right now because a lot of us are just going through a lot of bullshit and transition. So let's see what we have for the week this week, Aries. This is going to be general and love combined. I'm just going to go with what spirit gives. Keep in mind... A lot of people are going to be seeing this video. So only take what resonates for you and let the rest drop off for somebody else. All right, Spirit. What lovely general and love messages do you have for my Aries babies for this week, October, for the week of October 10th, 2021? All right, we got the Five of Cups. All right, you're a little distraught, Aries. I feel like that you are in a sense of sadness where you're trying to pull yourself out. You're trying to see the positive side. But with the Nine of Swords, you just cannot get out of your head. So you may be... You may be wondering if you did the right thing about something. With the Princess of Cups, I feel like that's a little bit of a disconnect of, okay, so I'm just going to go over here and I'm just going to go look over here and I'm just going to look at my cup. Like you're focusing on your own cup. You're not trying to make a move anywhere. You're not trying to do anything. You're just trying to sit in a space where you're just looking at your own cup. If you look at the picture. Just looking at your own cup. Not really doing anything else. Maybe taking a step forward, but... It's almost like you're, you're trying to turn a blind eye to what you just went through. Like, did I just go through that? Yeah, maybe. You are getting clarity. The King of Swords. This could be an energy coming in. This could be an energy coming in. It doesn't have to be gender specific. But it's somebody or something that you feel like they... All this sword energy. This could be an air sign. Um, Libra, Gemini, or uh, Aquarius. So, you have the sword energy, which is pretty clear, cut and dry. You know, like, they really don't put up with any BS. They're kind of cocky. Know-it-all types. <laughs> but it's a sense of, you know, with this person, you're, you raise above the swords. Like, you're not even defended. When it comes to this person. But at the same time. There's something about this person. That they are. Hiding something behind their back. So there's a sense of. Deceiving you. On some level. Um, you notice that not only are the swords. Behind this person's back. But they are crossing their fingers. And there's two foxes. So they're trying to outfox you, Aries. So maybe they're not telling you about a third party because there's two foxes there. So maybe they're not telling you that they're actually in a relationship or there's something that they are lying to you about. Two of Pentacles. So you could be going back and forth with this person. And you might feel like it's a sense of uh, getting back together or going forward with some fire. That's your energy right there. 
Aries, you need to be careful about this. You need to make sure that you are turning over every stone. Make sure you're turning over every stone. Your Queen of Wands energy, you know. Um, Queen of Wands is very, very confident. She knows what she wants. Once again, not gender specific. I'm just reading the card. But there's some kind of rejuvenation, some kind of renewal. So there's some kind of um, sense of, yay, we're back together. I just heard the song in my head, Reunited. <laughs> uh, I'm showing my age. Anybody who's young watching this, just Google the song, Reunited by Peaches and Herb. And that's kind of what it feels like to you. You are, yeah, see, this is a person of your past that you are getting back together with and you're seeing the sun. And the thing is, and you're collaborating with them. So, you know, you're like really connecting with them. But you have to be careful about the Seven of Swords here, Aries, because... Maybe there's something, like your intuition is giving you a hunch, but maybe you don't know for sure. And so you decide to go forward with it anyway. When you are talking to them, when you're thinking about getting back with this person, or you're thinking about reconnecting with this person, make sure you bring up all of your concerns. Bring up all of your concerns. Bring up everything that you feel in, in your gut before you move forward. Because the Two of Pentacles, that communication means everything. And I do feel like this is a person from your past who is coming back in. Or you're wanting to reconnect with this person. See? And you're going to be indecisive. And you're going to question things. You might be manifesting something new. I do feel like you're going to see something for what it is and, and you're going to go back to defense of deciding factor. Like this was, is a pretty big retraction. This is the two of swords. That's a pretty big retraction from the three of pinnacles. So something may have happened during the three of pinnacles discussion that kind of turned you off and made you want to go and veer off in another direction and start manifesting something else. Because this is the Six of Wands. This is you wanting to go forward in a different path. Wanting to go forward and find your gifts elsewhere. And you're going to manifest something different than what you had. So it's going to be a sense of, you know, you're going to be feeling good. But then you're going to, you know, you're going to manifest. And then you're going on that slow, steady pace of... Okay, I'm going to concentrate on my dollars. I'm going to concentrate, you know, with the Prince of Pentacles right here. I'm going to concentrate on money. I'm going to concentrate on my job. I'm going to concentrate on me. And it's going to be a really a good um, self-reflection time for me. Self-reflection of the layers I still need to shed so I can go forward. You know, the Nine of Wands is all about pushing forward and getting to the finish line. You're not quite there, but you're almost there. With the Eight of Swords, you know, you're you're projecting out. You could you could be getting communication in again, or you might be um, projecting your ideas out. Your Will of Fortune. Yeah, you're going to, that's what it is. You're projecting out. You're going to start focus. After this happens, you're going to focus on your Will of Fortune, Empress Energy, and the Five of Wands. You're going to untangle everything and you're going to be focusing on your growth. Now, this could be about another person. Because the Empress, you know, could be you focusing on a Will of Fortune and you pulling another person into play. 
that, okay, it didn't work out with this one. So let me go back to this one and make it work because I should, I, this is the one. Like you're seeing this, you could be seeing somebody in their Empress energy that you're looking at, like, this is my will of fortune, my Empress energy, and this is, you know, somebody who can help me grow and challenge me and help me get to where I want to be. You know, this could also all be about self. I always tell people that all these energies that look like love energies coming in, it could also be yourself showing up for yourself. I know that that one's a hard one to grasp because everybody wants it to be, oh, I want a love to come into my life. I want this. I want that. And it's all outside sources. But the thing is, is that it could be yourself showing up for yourself also for some of you. So I do feel like you are going to be at a crossroads where you are talking to one energy and then something happens and you're going to be like, oh, let me do a U-turn. I need to get back to my Empress. I need to go and get my Empress back type of vibe. So that's what I have for you this week, Aries. I'm sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it, comment, subscribe, whatever you need to do. I appreciate you either way. And I will talk to you next week. Have a good one.